Hello. Hi, Victoria. How are you? Hi, nice to meet you. Killer Cha Cha, the little Chihuahua. <laughs> Oh, oh, I see yeah. now. That's... So, Killer, why did you get your name? Actually, when I got her, she was very loving, sweet, and I just thought it would be funny. Oh, so you named her, and she was the total opposite of Killer, but yeah, she grew into the name. Grew into her name. <laughs> We love to entertain, we love to have people over, and it's extremely difficult to do, not knowing how killer's gonna react to our friends and their children. It's okay, good girl. <coughs> Why is she yellow? Um, she likes to change her different color first. Linda <laughs> likes to change her to different color first. She was green, and now it's faded into a yellowish. Okay. Oh. Okay. okay. Straight away, I could see a completely stressed out, nervy, and unhappy dog. She has bitten on many, many occasions. She's bitten all kinds of people. She's very, very fearful. When did she turn just from being a happy chihuahua to being a killer? I had my daughter, and all of my energy and all my attention was with Killer. She was my baby. And then now, ever since the dynamic has changed a little bit, I think she's resentful. What's she like with McKenna? She bit McKenna. Where, where did she bite her? She bit her on the hand. OK. McKenna's only two years old. And she's already been bitten once. Quite likely, it's going to happen again. I know if she was a bigger dog, I think that she wouldn't have lasted as long as she has here in this house. It would have been curtains a long time ago. Killer. And she's yellow, boom. Stop dying the dog. She does look like another dog's urinated on her. All right, I won't die her anymore. Now, the reason why her nervous state worries me is that she is in a constant state of stress. Even when you don't think she's in stress, her body physically is in stress. And that's when disease occurs put yourself in her position. There's somebody who's rejected her. Mama. You were everything to her. Mm -hmm. You treated her like your child. You dressed her up. She was always with you, always close to you. And then you had your daughter. And you pushed her away. And she went through a massive emotional change. She was rejected. I'm a little hurt and resentful that I've provided a very nice life for her, and I'm sorry I hurt her feelings, but, you know... Stop saying she's punishing me. Dogs don't know how to punish. Now, as a mum, there's no way that a dog comes before a child. Of course you're gonna have more attention on McKenna, but your dog suffered because of it. I just feel bad. Oh, hey. Because I love Killer. I know you do. I would I never do anything do. to purposely hurt her. It was a very eye-opening conversation that I had with Victoria. I was hurt to think that I was doing something to cause Killer to be not so sociable. You'll help me, right? Of course. <laughs> Before she can begin training, Victoria needs to establish a positive relationship with Killer. At the moment, she wants to bite me. And I can't work with an aggressive dog when it feels that way towards me. I wanted to take Killer out onto neutral territory and have a little bit of a bonding time with her. And if she could take treats, to take treats from me. She ate them when I put them on my legs, and then, eventually, she took them from my hand. She was interested in coming into my personal space. There was no pressure on her whatsoever. Should we go back? Shall we? It was a lovely moment. I love it when a dog's gone from wanting to bite me to wanting to be with me. Now, Victoria wants Linda to begin rebuilding her damaged relationship with Killer. The relationship between Linda and Killer has been really profoundly affected by the birth of McKenna. And I want to be able to get that relationship back to what it was like before McKenna was born. You sit and you have some calm time because it's all about lowering her stress levels. She was so happy, she was so positive. Killer took treats out of my hand. This is so crucial. And it might not happen every day. It would be great if it could. This is important. 
When a dog associates a human being with good things, it's more likely to come to them. I think she was pleasantly surprised and optimistic for the future. I think that relationship is just going to keep growing. I have something for you here, and this is Little Killer House. <laughs> you have your own house. Killer's house is small, so it's killer size. I wanted to give her another option, so she can go here to get away from the dogs, to get away from McKenna, to get away from guests. This is her safe place. Now, it's an outdoor house, because you can use it outdoors as well when you have barbecues. I think Killer's house is a great idea. It's, she, Killer really likes to have that feeling of protection, and I think that'll give it to her. Hi. Later on, Linda has a little one-on-one -on -one time with Killer. I have a little treat. The first treat is because I love you. The advice that Victoria gave me about Killer has been dead on. I just like turned a page in our book, and we just started all over again, and that's all we needed to do. We just let go of the past. Yeah, it's nice in there. Hi, Mike, how are you? Come on in. Welcome, good Hi, to see you. Hi, Ever since Linda moved in with Killy, it's snappy, bit my kids a couple of times, it's bit me. So uh, I'm always nervous around the dog, you know? I just, and I usually love dogs, just not that one. I mean, seriously, a couple of people have come in and sat down next to her and just ignored her. Mm -hmm. And within a couple of minutes, she's in their lap and chilling. So she's got to make the first move then. Yeah. And that's so, one of the, that's one of the things that if I if I attempted to pet her right now she'd bite me. Most likely, yeah. <laughs> with Killer, a lot of it is uh, is just getting people to act right with her. Mm-hmm. Don't try to pet her yet. With Killer, it has to be very much in her terms. She feels more confident if you're willing to go by her w rules. She'll make you her friend. <gasps> there we go. Wow. See, <laughs> not bad. It's the first time. Yeah. <laughs> She's not doing too bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Linda's been spending a lot more time with her, too, and, you know, she was real uh, messed up when we had McKenna. Just changes. Yeah, the there's a lot of changes up. for her. She's not a bad little evil dog anymore. I'm impressed that she's warmed up the mic as fast as she has. Mm-hmm. Tell me about your guest. We had a friend come over yesterday, uh, Mike, and Killer has, has bit Mike in the past. And snapped at his kids before. Yeah, and his kid, both of his kids are afraid of her. We, you know, we told him ahead of time, you know, help us out, try to just ignore her for a minute. But he was able to walk in, pass the couch, come around, sit down on the couch. Sat right next to her, next thing you know, he was petting her, scratching her stomach a little bit later on. I have to say that was great to see, but I would caution you. Don't think for one moment that, because she did that with one person, that she is going to be fine with everybody. This dog is still work in progress. Don't be complacent. Give her space. Take the pressure off. Even if she comes up to somebody, just let her do it. Tell the person, don't touch her. Mm -hmm. Just let her do it. Because there will be another bite until she really gets to the point, months and months and months and months down the road where she goes, you know what, it's cool. But I don't want you to go too fast, too quickly, because I don't want to undo everything that, has, that you've been doing. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to set her back. Killer, she is um, so much more friendly. She'll come up to me in any situation. I love it. It's ridiculous how, how much happier she is overall. She hasn't, she hasn't bitten anybody in weeks. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.